Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be uh, looking at what's going on in your connection at this time with the particular person that you're thinking about or connecting with. And then we're going to look at how you feel about each other. What are you thinking about each other or the connection? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, or subscribed. If you want to really support the channel, then like and subscribe. That helps me a lot. Um, thank you to everybody who has already done that and especially those of you that leave me such kind comments. I read them all and it does not go unnoticed. So thank you for Scorpio spare. Let's get into this for Scorpio. The person they are thinking about at this time spare. What do they think or feel at this time regarding Scorpio or this connection? What do they think or feel about Scorpio or this connection spirit? Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Scorpio, there's been some sort of ending with this person, I feel. Or this person that you're thinking about is ending something in their life, having a change in their life. Health. Maybe they're leaving an unhealthy attachment or healing from some something, a situation here that has happened either between you. They could be wanting to heal a connection with you as well. Okay, hold on. I just, what else for Scorpio? How does this person think or feel about Scorpio or this connection? Change, yeah. There's definitely some changes happening here, either for your person specifically or for this connection. There's some changes going on. So let's get more insight into your person's headspace here. I'm going to use my homemade Oracle deck for Scorpio. What would this person tell Scorpio if they could spare it at this time? What would this person tell Scorpio at this time? Any other insight into this situation between Scorpio and this person they are thinking about? We got trust. Trust. And we need to talk. Trust and we need to talk. Okay, a conversation here. Okay. Separation at the bottom of the deck. So for the Scorpios that I'm talking to, there's been some sort of separation with this person. Either you separated from them or your person is going through a separation. So let's get some insight into this connection. What has gone, what is going on in this connection spirit between Scorpio and this person? What can you tell me about the connection between Scorpio and this person? What has gone on here? What has gone on here in this connection that I need to know? What do I need to know? Oh my gosh. What do I need to know about this connection? My cards just do not want to stay in my hands today. Flirt. What else for Scorpio? What else do I need to know about this connection between Scorpio and this person? Flirt energy, um, for me, whenever I see that card, I think of something new. Um, something uh, fun, lighthearted. There's attraction, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And honeymoon is another card for me about like the new beginning, the beginning stages of a relationship where you know how they say it's the honeymoon period. So there's something new here. What happened in this connection? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, can I get one more? What else happened here? What's going on in this relationship? 
between Scorpio and this person. Okay, I got two. Free yourself, and this could be the one, okay? Time to take back control of your life, and you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I feel like there's there's two things going on here. I feel like this is someone you already know. Someone that you possibly already had some sort of a connection with, with this could all could be the one. But then at the same time, someone has to free themselves from either a connection or their fear. And um, whatever that free yourself is about, I feel like that has been... Is, is, is kind of this change that I see here. I also feel with trust, it's almost like trust that this will get done, have faith that I will free myself or have faith that um, there's something here that could change. But at the same time, I see, pay attention to the red flags. So there's someone here that is, whoever is freeing themselves is the one that's experiencing, you know, the signs uh, being probably spirits communicating through their dreams or speaking to them in some way. So in my mind, there's two things going on here. Two different things. We'll see what the tarot has to say. I'm doing a simple spread today where I'm going to pick some cards for their true feelings and intentions. And then another set of cards for how... Um, did I say their true feelings and intentions? Their true thoughts and feelings on one side and then their true intentions on the other. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just can't say it. For Scorpio spirit. Give me some more insight into how this person thinks or feels about them and their true intentions towards Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. How they feel about Scorpio or this connection and their true intentions, please. What insight can you give me? All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. I'll start with how they think or feel about you or this connection. I'm just gonna shuffle all of these together for Scorpio. And then we'll do their I'll do wait hold on did I say that wrong again I'll start with how they think or feel about you or this connection and then I'll talk about or I'll pull cards for their true intentions I don't know what is going on I am all over the place today it's crazy for Scorpio please what are this person's thoughts or feelings towards Scorpio or this connection at this time their thoughts or feelings towards Scorpio at this time, Spirit. What do I need to know? King of Wands, reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. So somebody here is not getting something done or is not... Maybe they're being a little bit of a control freak. We'll see. The tower. Wow, okay. I feel like someone's not dealing good with the fact that a tower is happening. What are their true thoughts or feelings? It's almost like when this person um, thinks about your connection, they think about this tower. This King of Wands Reverse doesn't, doesn't um, very impulsive, makes terrible decisions, is completely off balance, um, has probably a very terrible temper. They just do things that please them and they don't care about anybody else. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like in their mind they're working on something. What's at the bottom? Ooh, Page of Cups reversed. So there's been um, there's been heartbreak, disappointment, and I feel like a person's working on 
what do I do now that a tower has happened or that a tower will be happening? Because this towers cannot be avoided. So either this person's thinking about a tower that already happened or a tower that's on its way. We'll clarify and see. Actually, let's clarify now. Spirit, can we clarify these messages for Scorpio, please? Tell me about this King of Wands reversed. Can you see it when I put it down here? Yes. Tell me about this King of Wands reversed. Why is the King of Wands reversed? Why is the King of Wands reversed? Ace of Cups. So this has to do with love, a relationship. It's almost like your person couldn't make something happen or they ruined love because of their actions. Like they ruined something because of their actions. Because the King of Wands, like they cannot commit to something. They cannot, they lack courage. Um, and they're more like distracted by their impulses than actually getting anything solid done. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse, please. Scorpio five of swords reverse definitely this king of wands did something they weren't able to take advantage of a situation there was probably a terrible fight or some sort of ending due to deception and I feel like they they still have a lot of love for you um, but at the same time there's a tower here so something yeah the bad choice was made they made the wrong choice. Yeah. And they're unhappy with their choice. Uh, they're disappointed. They're uninspired. Gemini energy there with the lovers. Tell me about the tower. What happened? What happened with this tower? What happened with this tower? What's this tower about? High Priest is reversed. Either a secret came out or someone was not listening to their intuition, which caused this tower. Tell me more about the tower. Queen of Wands. Someone's taking action here. Three of Swords. So this tower was very difficult. It possibly caused a breakup or... Um, a tower, you could have, you know, a separation, um, or just it was very heartbreaking. A secret came out. A secret, something came to light that was very heartbreaking. Could have been a third party energy, or it could have been that something here, someone possibly was a player or um, just deceptive. And your person knows. They know this is involving you. I think this is a, you're the queen of wands. This is involving you here. It's almost like they know that they caused this tower. So now they're working on something. What's this eight of pentacles about? That is way too many. What's this eight of pentacles about? Five of Pentacles reverse is that they want to work on getting back to you on um, coming out of the cold here. Think about the Eight of Pentacles. Of course, there's no, there's no nothing here that says that you have to take them back. They made a decision. What about the Eight of Pentacles here? It could be that you need to free yourself even if this person comes to you and apologizes and says, hey, we need to talk. I want to heal things. I'm sorry about what happened. You know, it's going to be up to you if you take them back or not. Yeah. Bad judgment call here. Your person, I feel, yeah, and there's the moon reverse. Again, you know, their bad judgment call or their bad judgment led them to get caught or let this whole tower to happen. 
So we know that. So what are their true intentions now? What are their true intentions, Spirit, towards Scorpio? What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions? Ooh, Six of Pentacles. So they definitely want to make things right. What are their true intentions? Let me move this over. What are their true intentions towards Scorpio? Okay, they're needing to make a decision here. They're weighing the pros and cons, possibly juggling two things. What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions? Moving forward, Chariot, Cancer Energy here. So they definitely want success. They want to move past this is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, have the Eight of Wands at the bottom. This is all about movement, communication. This is that we need to talk card. They definitely want to talk to you. And I think it's regarding moving forward, moving on past whatever has happened between you. Oops. So let's get into this. Clarify these messages, please. For Scorpio. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. These are their true intentions to make something balanced. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Whew. King of Swords Reverse. They might not be the best communicator, this person. Um, they could be wanting to rebalance the fact that they were um, deceptive here. Five of Cups Reverse. Definitely wanting to regain what was lost. Yeah, it's almost like their own actions. Once again, their own actions caused them to lose something. And now um, they want to regain what was lost. Yeah, and this, I think, has to do with a third-party interference with the Three of Cups reverse. Yeah, someone's attached. You're dealing with someone that's attached to something else here. Um, and I think either you found out or there's something that happened there that caused some sort of separation. Maybe your person chose the wrong person with the Lovers reverse. You know, too bad, so sad, but, you know, I feel like they really hurt you in the process. So what is this Two of Pentacles about? What's this Two of Pentacles about? Ten of Wands. They're trying to determine if they let go of a burden here. If they, uh, it's like they, they're probably having a lot on their plate right now. What is the Two of Pentacles about? Two of Cups reversed. They could be debating about breaking up with someone. Yeah, they want to make an offer here. They want to talk because they want things to change. They're not happy with without you, I feel. You could also be hiding something, so be careful. It could be that they're undergoing some sort of separation themselves or debating whether they should even separate with someone um, in order to have a new opportunity. What's this chariot about? What's the chariot about? Strength. Leo energy here. So, you know, maybe they need the courage or maybe they have the courage now or their intention is that they're going to be brave. Tell me about the chariot. Brave enough to move forward and maybe move towards you. The devil. We're getting major arcanas here. I have a lot of major arcanas here. You know, three major arcanas right here, just in this one spot. Have the lovers, the tower. 
judgment, high priestess, something here. Um, they could be just like almost like obsessed with having this victory. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Capricorn, a Leo. Um, but with the devil here, it's almost like there's something that whatever they're offering you. See how the, he's like extending his hand, like come with me. <laughs> you know, be very careful. Can I get one more for this chariot? Can I get one more for this chariot, please?